Hi everyone, and welcome to the final edition of the 2018-19 Hubbard Spotlight. I first want to thank everyone for joining us on this very important journey through the Berlin Learner Outcomes. We've talked about uh, kind, compassionate citizens, mindful, responsive collaborators, uh, effective communicators, as understood and applied by the students at Hubbard School. There's two final Berlin Learner outcomes that we focus on. The first involves resilient and discerning problem solvers. And it's simply stated, resilient and discerning problem solvers investigate a question, explanation, or challenge by developing an informed, flexible plan of action to construct solutions or offer conclusions. The final Berlin Learner outcome involves innovative imaginative designers and states, innovative imaginative designers develop test and refine ideas by experimenting with techniques and tools to reach a desired outcome. So I'm pretty anxious to see and hear what our students have to say about these two Berlin Learner outcomes. So let's get right to it and I will talk to you after we hear from them. If it's a math equation then I would um pick the best strategy and the easiest one I would use for um, the answer. When I am stuck, I usually take a break by getting a sip of water, but some people do it differently by counting to 10 in their head or spotting five things around the room. When I'm stuck on a fraction problem, I think of a picture and it helps me figure it out. Um, in our class, we have a chair and we call it the coffee chair and it's where you sit and when you're struggling and you take a break and it's when you like can't do something you like sit for like three to five minutes and you um, and when you're ready you come back and get back to your work and it just helps you to take a step back and breathe and tell yourself that you can do it. <laughs> How I overapproach a challenge and a stuck point is that I try to push through it and exercise myself to not give up and be determined to finish my task. Sometimes when you're stuck on a problem, let's say for example in math, you should think of the word persist. Persist means to not give up and to always try your best. I was creative and used my imagination at school when we were doing our alternative RRJ project. RRJ stands for Reading Response Journal. We had to pick a book and, and make a mobile, a poster, or something that represented the book, and we had to use our creativity to add stuff onto the posters, and we had to write a paragraph, and we had to use our imagination to think of what the characters looked like in our books. One time I was creative when I used different materials around the room um, to build a fort on Global Play Day. I used, I used binder clips to keep our blankets up and used a chair in the middle to keep a fort up. I am creative in science. I have to think, to, I have to think of new ideas when I am trying to solve the fossil that is in the case study. One time when I was creative and used my imagination at school was when we did the Rye of Light posters. And what that was, was a poster in memory of a kid and he died. And it's a poster where you have to like have creativity and you write like kindness words and you show kindness on the poster and you have to be really creative with it. I was creative in art class when we did a printing activity. I was able to draw a flower, vines and leaves, and then print it the flower on foam. My classmates were able to draw other pictures and print them as well. I use my tools like a number line and a hundred chart to help with math. Ask a friend for help work together, persist, think hard, and use strategies. I focus on my work and I don't give up. 
When a word is hard, I stretch it out and do a triple check. I think about it, then I try my best, and if I make a mistake, I fix my mistake. I used my imagination when I was playing at recess with my stuffed animals with Maya. I also used my imagination when I was writing my book um, about a boy named Timothy that lost his bunny. I used my imagination in writing because in writing when you first start a book, you can think about like a fairy tale and a happy ending to make it a funny book and happy. I use my imagination when I build Legos during morning tub time. When I read books, I go on adventures in my, in my imagination and it's so much fun. Um, when we were doing something and I, we had red and blue and yellow papers, I used my imagination. I designed the racetrack with the red and blue and yellow papers. When um, I uh, make pictures and add more detail. Thank you again for your time and interest throughout the course of this year in learning about the Berlin Learner outcomes as taught to us by the students of Hubbard School. We can't wait to see what happens next year, 2019-20, when the Hubbard Spotlight returns. Thank you.